What's up, Bath Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another video, honey. Well, this is not gonna be my typical setup, as you know. Well, some of you know that I am out of town, but a sister still has to eat, okay? So I just ordered a whole bunch of stuff from the Chinese restaurant. Bobby is at her game. I decided to take a time out for myself today. And I got upset because I felt like Bobby wasn't trying. And I know she's still learning to play, but I felt like I was really upset. You're not trying, you're not taking risks. I don't care if you win and I don't care if you lose. I really don't care. But I wanna see you try. I wanna see you shoot a ball. Just shoot the damn ball, just shoot it. I don't care if it goes to the soccer field. I know we playing basketball. I don't know, I, but there's also a huge soccer game. Shoot the ball to the soccer facility. I don't care, just release it from your hands and take a chance. And the, the coaches were mad. And they were like, you know, after the game was over, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, I'm sure your parents could do other things with their money. And if you're not trying, they talking to the whole team. If you're not trying, why waste their money? And it just all clicked for me. I'm like, you goddamn right. I don't care if you lose. Fight, try, take risks, take chances. Don't be afraid. I do it every day. <laughs> Maybe that's why my life's so jacked up. But oh well, at least I know I live my life taking chances and taking risks and living outside of the box and not doing everything safe all the time. Yes, could I have a safer life? Probably. Probably I could. Could I have an easy life? Probably I could. I don't. Sometimes I just go for it. I do stuff and I think about it later. Mm -hmm. So I was a little upset. So today is the third day. Based on the date of this video. Mm -mm. I, I can't afford it. I can't afford it and today is bracket play so if they win the first game then they go going to play another game but if they don't they just play that one game and it's over mm -mm. and they're playing for the next three four days so if you do the math for that parking plus the pay to get in so we're talking about a $40 a day, plus you have to feed them. Mm -mm. It's expensive. It's expensive. And they have college scouts um, looking at the girls. So, you know, Bobby enjoys playing. What? And I've seen her growth. She has grown tremendously. But you gotta want it bad. You have to want it. You have to be like, ooh, she ain't making no shots today. I'm blocking all her stuff. She's good with defense. I'm blocking, I'm gonna be in her face. You gotta get that in your chest. For over $3,500, you better get something. Not shy to take a shot. So, I decided to not go to try to save money some kind of way. You know, I'll go the rest of the week. Maybe I'll miss one or two games, but it's, too, it's expensive. So, if you're going to make that investment in your child, you want to make sure that there's a potential for your child to possibly get a college scholarship for basketball. Then it's really worth the expense. Now, Bobby, our plan with Bobby, her goal is not trying to get a basketball scholarship. If it happens, great. You know, that's a bonus. But my goal with Bobby is for her to get um, an academic scholarship. And let me tell you, she, she goes off with that. She hustles for that. Yes, she does. It's like night and day. Can we transfer that same energy from academics to basketball? Who knows? But in my opinion, education is first. And she needs that full ride scholarship. Right now, Bobby's going to her junior year. Bobby is the top 14% of her class. 
top 14%. And she's hoping to get to the top 10% because junior year is tough. Now, with that saying, she took some of the hardest classes of her life junior year. So she has to buckle down. So we can get her to that top 10% by the end of the year. So, we, you know, that's what we, we going. You know, the basketball is a bonus. But that education, that's number one. Number one. But when I'm struggling, and this is just me, and I could be wrong. But I have feelings. I'm human. Just because I'm a mother doesn't mean I'm not human. But basketball, this is expensive. I can't really afford it. And if I see you not trying and you're not taking risks and you don't have that room, it's, it's starting to make me upset because I, I, I could have done other things. And we have to move. And I use some of our moving money <laughs> for this trip. So, I was just a little upset that I needed a, a time out today. I needed a time out, a time to reflect, a time to plan, a time to catch up on my videos because YouTube, I'm trying to get YouTube as my hustle too, like a little side job. And I've already missed three to four days. Yeah. So, do you, am I making any sense or I'm I'm not? You know, it's like you invest in your child to play soccer and then they just don't kick the ball and you spend 10,000, I ain't spend 10,000. But you spend $10,000 and they're not kicking the ball. You like, mother, you better kick that damn ball. You know you, that now you get it or you or you invested in this great baseball team and your your child refuses to really hit that ball like he wants to knock somebody out you know what i'm saying that's that's how it is that that's that's where i am right now you could i don't care if you miss try even with my students i'm like i got you all day you'll never fail my class if i see you trying Period. Maybe I'm wrong, but period. You not. You might get a 70 if you had a 65, but I know you tried your your best, and I saw you putting in effort. I saw you come to tutorials. I got you all day, boo. You would never fail my class. But if I see you ain't putting in no effort, you gonna get what you earn. Nothing. An F. That's what you get. But honey, if I see you trying and you doing your thing and you've done the tutorials and it's just not clicking for you. But I said you put your heart into it. You would never fill my class ever. For me, your effort, your will to want to better yourself, your desire, your drive means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. But if I see you not really, you know, oh well. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And that's why I became upset because I know you want to have fun with your friends and the bonding and stuff. That's cute. But as a mother and the sacrifices that I'm making, I got to see, I got, you got to give me something more. You got to want it. You have to want it. What's you wasting my money? You're wasting it. You know, or you invest in some music classes, but you don't want to study the music. Well, I'm paying for the music classes for. And Sydney, I signed Sydney up for piano lessons. I invested $600 in a piano, which is still in my garage, and I'm going to take piano lessons because I've always wanted to learn how to play the piano. So when I get on my feet, I want to take lessons. I already have the keyboard. It's a weighted keyboard, electric keyboard. The same feel of a full grand piano. I invested in that. Sydney wasn't practicing. And then later on, she said she didn't want to do it anymore. I'm like, really? Really? After I spent over $1,000 in lessons and $600 in this keyboard? Baby, you know how many deep breaths I had to take? Spent money on flute. 
clarinet, private lessons. So people can say what they want to say about me. I try for my children. I try. I, I do. I do. <laughs> I do the best I can. I try to give them things. You know, to encourage them and stuff. When you're doing it by yourself all the time. And then you're not, they, you, the kid's not into it. You be like, well, but I wasted all that money. Because that's what you said you wanted. And when I was younger, I used to draw. That's when I started drawing when I was younger. Into the contest, somebody came to the house to try to get me in art school. My mom couldn't afford it. And I feel like I'm in the same boat with, as my mom. But I try to do and encourage their, their dreams. I do. But my mom just, she just couldn't afford it. So I try to do more than what my mom did or was able to do. So, I hope I made sense. And if you're a young one, gotta appreciate your parents. I mean, like, they're really trying for you. You gotta try to appreciate your parents, man. But, as soon as you ask them to clean up something or to do something for you, they, well, I gotta do it. First thing, why well, I got, why well, she can't do it? Because I asked you to do it. When you need some new shoes or some new underwear, do I say why I gotta buy it? Why I gotta provide for you? Why I gotta keep the lights on? Why I gotta turn, you know, pay this bill and pay that bill? Do I do that? No, I, I'm like, oh, damn, I gotta do the best I can to try to do it. Cause there's no one else I can put it on. But soon as you ask them to do something, so if you're a young one listening to this video, think about those things. So, this is good. So, one of the basketball moms invited Bobby and I to dinner tonight. So I don't want to eat too, too much. But Hansi, you wake up in the morning. This makes a wonderful little, little, little meal, okay? And we got the fridge up here too. What, in the microwave? We in a sweet child. They didn't have any more rooms available. So they gave me the sweet. So please look at the video, <laughs> the road trip video. And I need to write a complaint letter. Mm -hmm. It was terrible. Literally a two hour wait just to check in. I think their system was down. And then they were checking people in and there were people already in the room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Terrible. Terrible. Mm-mm. So this video is probably long already. <laughs> I'm tired, but this was good. The wings are good, but those will heat up. Those will be cute snacks later. And don't forget to let me know what is your favorite dish, Chinese food dish. I love, I can eat Chinese food every day. And can, do you eat it cold? Do you like cold fast food? Pizza, I know one of my friends she could eat some cold pizza. I'm like, ew. But, ooh. I like my stuff hot. So, out of this, 
the wings were good. They just tasty. I don't know how they season their wings. Maybe they marinate them in um, soy sauce. I don't know. <laughs> but they were good. Them. My lo mein was good. The fried rice was good. And this, um, what was this I ordered? The shrimp one. I think it's the garlic shrimp. The garlic shrimp. That was really, really good. Whew. I think I would just order everything. I wouldn't order the wings. I, I mean, I would, but this was just really tasty. I don't want the wings because this was enough. And this place, you get 10 wings. For six dollars. Mm-hmm. So I got five and five. And you pay extra 30 cents because you're breaking up that ten. With two different flavors. Which tastes the same to me. <laughs> mm. Alright, this is my last bite. And I will let you guys go. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Hold on. <laughs> I also want you to watch the lady, the homeless lady video. <laughs> she walked up to the wrong car booth to ask for money. You gotta watch the video. Wrong person. Boop, boop, boop. Don't step to me unless you're ready. Don't step to me. Do you hear me, sis? Don't step to me unless you're ready. Period. So you want to watch that video? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Alright, guys. I love you and I miss you guys so much. I don't even know when I'm going to get this up. I want to say this hotel has good internet. Where are we staying? We're staying at the Wyndham Atlanta Galleria Hotel. Very nice hotel. I don't have any complaints. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. Very accommodating. It's better than the first nightmare. Y'all gotta watch that. So you got two videos to watch. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for hanging out with me. Give this video a thumbs up. Just go back and give it a thumbs up. If you lasted this long and you still with your girl Joy, I appreciate it. I love you. Until next time. Later.